Hi everyone, good morning. Hope you're fine and ready to challenge the Singapore math. Let's go straight to the problem. There are three boxes, each containing a different type of chocolate, namely type A, type B and type C. They have a total mass of 16 kilograms. The ratio of the mass of type A chocolate to the mass of type B chocolate to the mass of type C chocolates is 4 is to 3 is to 1. So there are three quantities and their mass is in the ratio 4 is to 3 is to 1. Here, the number of type A chocolates, uh, just take a clear look here. This is the number. It talks about the number of chocolates. The previously, this was about the mass of the boxes. The number of type A chocolates is 4 fifth or 4 over 5 of the number of type B bars and half as many type C chocolate bars. If 6 bars of type A chocolate weighs 1 kg, find the total number of chocolate bars in all 3 boxes. I know what you're thinking. This is convoluted, confusing or, you know, the the problem uh, the statement written statements written itself is quite long but just hold on we are going to actually break it down into smaller chunks and then just put them and piece them together and definitely solve this problem and then you will find that it's quite easy right where do we start we start at a point where we know the relationship between all three quantities the type a type b and type c chocolates and that's in with the mass we know that the mass of type A is to type B to type C is in the ratio 4 is to 3 is to 1. All right. So let's go ahead. Type A be represented with 4 units because it's 4. And type B is 3 units. And type C is 1 unit. So this is how we represent uh, the ratio that is shown here. And these units are of the same size. Right? The units shown here for the three quantities are of the same size. So now let's bring them together first. right? And then we just color code them so we know that this is type A, this is type B and type C. All right? That's just for ornamental purposes. And they have a total mass of 16 kilograms. So this whole thing is 16 kilograms. Now we have some clarity. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units, right? Eight units, and that is equal to 16 kilograms. So we know one unit will be equal to 16 divided by eight, which is two kilograms. So one unit is two kilograms, which means all of these guys here, each of these units is equal to two kilograms or represents two kilograms. Now, we go to the second one. If six bars of type A chocolate weighs one kg, right? So one kg of chocolate is equal to six bars, right? Now we have type A, two plus two plus two plus two, or four times two, eight kg. So eight kg is equal to eight times six, which is 48 bars. So type A, we have found that there are 48 bars for type A. Can we apply the same logic here? No, we cannot. Because we know that their mass is 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6 kg. But we don't know if these chocolates, they are uh, the, the size could be smaller, right? So because what we have, what's been given here, if six bars of type A chocolate, they're specifying type A chocolate weighs one kg. That's one clue here to for us to understand that maybe the size of this is not equal to this, actually. And the second is they're also unnecessarily or additionally giving this information. Type A chocolate is four-fifth of the number of type B bars and half as many types of chocolate. So that with those two things, it's clear definitely that we cannot use the same logic to so uh, find out how many type B and type C are there. So let's just 
say for right now type a chocolate is 48 bars right we will just i'm just putting this aside because we have got what we want type j a chocolate is 48 bars we don't need any of these workings right now now let's go to the second part which deals only with the numbers the number of type a chocolate is four fifth of the number of type b bars and half as many type c chocolates so the type a is four fifth of the number of type b bars which means type a is four units five goes to the second one type b bars so type a is four units type b is five units this is type a is four fifth of type b right four out of the five so that is the relationship between type a and type b and we also see that type a is half as many type c chocolates or we can say there is one unit for type a and two units of type c and just remember we already have type c is type a is this much size so when we say one unit it has to match with this size because they are representing the same type a chocolates and so type c would be two units two such units here and another thing to note here is this is equally divided into four units smaller sized units which means this should also be the same so we can just merge these two so that we don't have to have a duplicate type a here this also means if this is equally divisible into four smaller units this we can divide into four smaller units and this also into four smaller units so that's it so now we know that uh, type a is four units right and type c is eight units and type b is five units and they are all divided into the uh, units of equal size so here type a four units actually is equal to 48 bars right so one unit should be equal to 48 divided by 4 so this one unit will be equal to 12 in numbers 12 bars chocolate bars right so each of these boxes here represent 12 chocolate bars so here again 12 chocolate bars 12 12 all of these represent 12 chocolate bars he because here uh, this ratio whatever we worked out it's only based on the number of chocolates or number of chocolate bars right so now if you want to find out the total total is because each is 12 and there are how many of them are there 8 plus 4 is 12 12 plus 5 is 17 so 12 times 17 which gives 204 chocolate bars in total so find the total number of chocolate bars in all three boxes so that's 204 i hope this was clear so let's move on to uh, solving the same problem using algebra for the sake of those who just joined uh, for algebra who skipped the previous portion i'm just going to read the question once again there are three boxes each containing a different type of chocolate namely type A, type B, and type C. They have a total mass of 16 kilograms. The ratio of the mass of type A chocolate to the mass of type B chocolate to the mass of type C chocolate is 4 is to 3 is to 1. The number of type A chocolate is 4 fifth or 4 over 5 of the number of type B chocolate bars and half as many type C chocolate bars. If six bars of type A chocolate weighs one kg, find the total number of chocolate bars in all three boxes. So here again, we start with a point where we know the relationship between all the three quantities that are involved, type A, type B, and type C. See, type A, type B, type C are in the ratio four is to three is to one. So let's write down type A, type B, type C. So you know, in ratio, if it is in ratio, right this is the simplest form so we can write as 4x is to 3x is to 1x because the x would be a common fact common factor in all of these values right so we represented it as 4x is to 3x is to 1x now we have another uh, vital piece of information here 
they have a total mass of 16 kilograms. That is, the type A, type B, and type C chocolates have a total mass of 16 kilograms. So, this is the total mass of the mass of type A is represented by 4x, type B by 3x, and type C by 1x. So, if we add them together, 4x plus 3x plus 1x, that should be equal to 16 kilograms. That is, 4 plus 3 is 7 plus 1 is 8. 8x is equal to 16 kilograms. And this is an equation. In an equation, we can add, subtract, multiply, and divide any value on both sides. If we do it on both sides, it does not affect the equation. So we want to remove the 8 here. We divide by 8 here. So 8 gets cancelled off. Here, divide by 8. So x is equal to 16 divided by 8, which is equal to 2 kilograms. So type A chocolate, the mass of type A chocolate is 4x, so which is 4 times 2, which is 8 kilograms. Right? We have found the mass of type A chocolate. Now this statement here, if 6 bars of type A chocolate weighs 1 kg, the reason we skipped that and came here is because this is where uh, there is a link or relationship between the number of bars and the mass. That is only for type A, actually, right? So let's uh, put that down. 1 kg is equal to 6 bars. This is only for type A, right? Because it clearly says 6 bars of type A chocolate weighs 1 kg. So 1 kg is 6 bars. 8 kg is 6 times 8. That is 48 bars. So Type A, we have found out, it has got 48 bars. Can we use the same logic for type B and type C? No. For two reasons. One, it very clearly says 6 bars of type A chocolate weighs 1 kg. It does not generically say that 6 chocolate bars is equal to 1 kg. And the second is, there is additional information given here in terms of you know uh, fractions. But that is specific to the number of chocolates. So definitely, we have to work more. Uh, to in order to find out the number of type B and type C chocolates. So the number of type A chocolate is four-fifths of the number of type B bars. So the ratio is four is to five, actually. So type B, I'm just putting a type A in the middle because I know that it's actually, uh, the references here is type A is uh, compared with type B, and then type A is also compared with type C. So, from this one, we have found out type A is 4y, type B is 5y. We are converting a fraction into a ratio here, right? And so then, second statement states, and half as many type C chocolates, that is type A chocolates, is equal to half as many type C chocolates. So, again, one unit for type A and two unit for type C. So 1z is to 2z. Why do we put z? Because this is a separate of, um, a ratio that we are putting it in here. So this as z may not be equal to y. So that's why we are writing it separately. But what we do know is that this quantity here, 4y, is the same as the quantity here, 1z, because it refers to type A. So 4y should be equal to 1z. Right? So if 4y is equal to 1z, 2z should be equal to 8y. Right? So we can convert these two times 4 here to make it 4y. So this is 4y, or 1z is just equal to 4y. Right? If 1z equals to 4y, 2z will be equal to 8y. Now, the reason why we did this is we want to have a direct relationship between B, A, and C, all the three quantities. So now we can straight away write here 8Y. So the ratio of B, A, C is 5Y is to 4Y is to 8Y. And that is the relationship between the three quantities. And we already know that 4Y, this quantity of type A, we already figured out that there are 48 type A bars, right? So 4y should be equal to 48, and that's because of the result that we got here. And y is equal to 48 divided by 4, which is 12.
Now, all we need to do is how many uh, y's are there? 8y plus 4y plus 5y, that is equal to 17y. And when know y is 12, so 17y is equal to 17 times 12, which is 204 chocolate bars. So there are a total of 204 chocolate bars in all three boxes. I hope this was interesting and um, clear, right? If you have doubts, please, as usual, just comment and I will try to get back to you. Have a great day. Happy learning. Bye.